All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 135 pound division where Gervonta Davis makes an offer of sorts to Ryan Garcia for a rematch or at least acknowledges that he'll do it when asked by Ryan Garcia. Let's talk about that and who he didn't talk about in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. In this video, we're going to be in the 135 pound division or 140 pound division as Gervonta Davis uh, did a job on Frank Martin last night. I am a big Frank Martin fan and I can't wait to see Frank Martin in his next fight. Uh, I think Frank Martin fought very well for about four rounds before the level, you know, the, the phrase there's levels to this jumped out there. Gervonta Davis was walking him down from the beginning of the fight. And once uh, Frank Martin spent a little energy Gervonta Davis started really, really laying into him uh, with combination punches, really started wearing down his body and eventually got him out of there in very, very nasty fashion in the eighth round. Um, but after that, guess who guess who came to dinner? Ryan Garcia. Now, before I get into the detail about that and the press conference where Gervonta was asked about everybody except one person, at least I didn't hear him. And that was Devin Haney. I was surprised that nobody asked about Devin Haney. Now, before I get into it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It really, really makes a huge difference to the channel. Can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, so Gervonta Davis Right after the fight, Ryan Garcia gets on the apron apron of the ring. He doesn't get into the ring, but he actually gets up on the apron and starts talking to Gervonta Davis on camera. And Gervonta Davis revealed what the conversation was about. And it was about a rematch between the two. And Gervonta said, he's like, man, Ryan's crazy. But he said in the press conference, he said, yeah, I'll give him a rematch. I'll beat him up again. No worries. I'll beat him up again. He was also asked about, you know, the other people that he would fight next. And he said, you know, who do you want? He said all of them. Uh, the only people, though, that he was asked about was three that he was asked about was Ryan Garcia. Vasily Lomachenko, who they're rumored to be in the discussions with now to fight. Don't know how true that is. And Shakur Stevenson. Um, however, Gervonta, when talking about Shakur Stevenson said, <laughs> I know people that are Shakur Stevenson fans are going to look at this and be like, man, come on. You can see Calvin Ford shaking his head like this. <laughs> and <laughs> because the person that was asking the question phrased it in a way like, hey, do you think that uh, Gervonta Davis, you know, you think fighting Shakur Stevenson would be a good fight and an entertaining fight like this was with Ryan Garcia? Or do you think that Shakur Stevenson is going to just, you know, not engage and move around and make it a boring fight? And Shakur, and uh, Gervonta said, yeah, you know what he's going to do. But at the same time, he still comes out and says that, yeah, I think that it'd be really good for boxing for us to fight, if not now, a little bit down the road, right? But he said he was ready for uh, for Vasily Lomachenko now. Um, but no mention of Devin Haney. No specific questions asked about Devin Haney. Um, and no... Um, so no response specifically given to him, even though other than just referring him to, for referring to him by reference, by saying... Um, that, you know, he wants to fight all of them, man. I'm certainly hoping that these fight the fight with Vasily Lomachenko happens next for him. People are saying there are people out there saying, well, you know, 
he's 36 years old now, you know, is uh, why did it take so long? Well, look, it took so long, I'm sure, in part because of both people were doing different things. One, uh, if you didn't notice, Vasily Lomachenko's had a pretty busy schedule for the last five years since he moved up to 135 pounds in 2019 and won the WBA belt. I believe he won the WBA belt first against Jorge Linares. And then he moved over and got the WBA uh, O belt against Jose Pedraza. And then he got the WBC belt against Luke Campbell. And then after that, he lost to Vasily Lomachenko uh, to Tiafimo Lopez. Then he comes back and he beats um, two fighters. Nakatani and Comey. And then after that, he loses to Devin Haney in a fight that a lot of people thought Devin Haney won. I mean, that Lomachenko won. But then, so he had to go back. Ukraine war took place. He fights Jermaine Ortiz. He beats Jermaine Ortiz. Then he comes back. Or, or I'm sorry, I think he beat Jermaine Ortiz. Then he beat, then he fought uh, Devin Haney. And then after that, he comes back from that fight and then wins the IBF, vacant IBF belt with uh, George Cambos. So sorry for having those, the Jermaine Ortiz and Devin Haney fight out of order. Um, but so he's been pretty, pretty busy, man, with this idea of becoming an undisputed champion. So now he's 36, was he 36, maybe 38 years old? I don't think that makes I don't think that age is going to make much of a difference with Vasily Lomachenko because Vasily Lomachenko is man. He looked extremely good against uh, against George Cambosis and stopping George Cambosis. So I still think that's a very, very viable fight. It's a unification fight uh, between Gervonta and Vasily. I would love to have it. Now, do I think that it's going to happen? We'll see. Um, we will see whether that really happens or not. Um, I still have a hesitancy. Uh, I still hesitate to believe that that is <laughs> that that is going to happen uh, because of the bridge between the PBC and top rank. But hey, man, I could be wrong. And it, it there are scenarios where I've seen fighters at this stage with top rank where they did that. Specifically, Manny Pacquiao later in his career when he wound up. Uh, after he, a lot of his viability was gone, it was clearly, you know, at towards the end of his career or at least the end of his stay with top rank or as a, you know, as a legitimate, you know, number one or number two fighter in the world. He that that's when Bob Aaron made the fight with Floyd Mayweather Jr. So maybe there is that opportunity for uh, Vasily Lomachenko to do that with with uh Gervonta Davis and it would be again it'd be a southpaw and a southpaw matchup just like Gervonta Davis had two of Gervonta's last three fights have been against southpaws although as Gervonta said the southpaws that he fight that he fought are all different fighters Hector Garcia is a different fighter than fights different than Frank Martin and Frank Martin fights differently than Vasily Lomachenko even though I will say that the approach that Gervonta took for Hector Garcia and Frank Martin was was similar, similar. He walked down the southpaw, walked down the southpaw, started trying to break the southpaw down. He had an easier time, I think, breaking down Frank Martin than he did Hector Garcia because Hector Garcia was a way more tentative with his punches than Frank was. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.